Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'm working on a little adobo marinade. I'm gonna let uh, make some pork adobo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up my onion and garlic here for my adobo. I'm gonna try and marinate that overnight if I if I can. I'd like to marinate it overnight. You need need to at least marinate for half an hour. You know, three to four hours is good, but for perfect adobo, you want to marinate it overnight. Okay, just gonna get my onion peeled and So you want to use a small onion here. I'm, I'm using probably about a little over two pounds of pork, pork shoulder meat. Excuse me. You can use pork belly if you'd like. You can take and uh, smash your garlic first or hit it with mortar and pestle if you'd like. You know, it's going to release the juices and add more flavor. You know, me, I don't find it necessary for a marinade, but I love garlic, so the more, more the merrier around here. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got our onion and garlic diced up. Let's go ahead and just add that into a medium mixing bowl. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to it. I think I got enough onion. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit more.
This is a cut down recipe of just cooking for the wife and I. I used to cook a lot of adobo and for all the kids and family and friends. And so tonight this is just a half recipe. So you want to use, like I said, about a half a garlic and about a small, small to medium sized onion, maybe small. Okay, and after that, we're going to take about a half cup of uh, vinegar. Add that in there. Oh, I'm sorry, half cup of soy sauce. Then we're going to add about uh, hmm, half cup of uh, vinegar. Whatever brand you like. Use a pinch of pepper and I'm going to use a pinch of pinch of red pepper, pepper flake. I'm not going to put all those seeds in there, but pinching out some of the seeds, I think I got enough in there for this. Since I'm half recipe, I'm going to mix my hands. Okay, let me take my head here. I've got my vinegar, soy sauce. Okay. Got a garlic and onion, black pepper, crushed red pepper. So that's our marinade, guys. Okay, we're going to mix that up here in a second. this out of the way. <clears throat> Got some pork shoulder here I've prepared. Use belly if you'd like. I trim off the fat myself. A lot of people like the fat, but it depends on what kind of what cut of meat you use. Of course, you're going to need a little bit of fat. Because the fat renders down, and that's what makes it delicious. The ends of this is uh, pretty tough, so I'm not going to mess with that. Fat towards the center is good. Just want to cube that up and a cube no bigger than that. Get a couple big pieces, that's that's not too bad. Just want them all to kind of cook evenly if you can get them there. Looks pretty good.
So make sure you don't have any silver skin or anything on the meat. That's tough. It's inedible. Again, just making sure all those pieces are about the same. Trimming off any excess fat that I don't want on the outside cap. That's good. Okay, let's get rid of this plate. Get rid of that excess fat I don't want. And we're just going to slowly add that into our marinade. It's just the wife and I, so cooking for us. Anybody else, I'd probably you know wear a glove or something especially deal with those peppers <laughs> you want to get that in your eye get your nose or something <laughs> later on so I'm just going to coat that meat really good so you got the vinegar and soy sauce working together there it smells just wonderful it's very delicious okay now you can put that in the fridge like that cover it uh, with some saran wrap if you got enough room in there or you just do what I do and pour it into a Ziploc baggie okay now here's the tip Make sure you get all of it in there. Don't miss any bit of it. You want all that onion, all the garlic, every morsel. That's going to give your flavor. They are out of there. There you go, guys. We're going to let that set overnight. It's a delicious marinade for your dobo. And check back with me tomorrow, and we'll see what we can do with that. Hello, everybody. I'm back. After marinating our delicious adobo meat overnight, like I said, I like mine to marinate overnight, you know, about 24 hours. Some people don't marinate that long, but I like for it to break down the meat, the muscle and the meat. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and drain off that adobo. Mm. Smell that delicious uh, smell of the soy sauce. Delicious smell of soy sauce and... Uh, vinegar so we're going to let that drain pretty good there I just use my hands guys as my wife and I eating tonight that's the way grandma did it huh nothing wrong with your hands that's what God gave them to you okay so anywho there we go. We're going to let that drain a little bit more here. I'm going to fire the stove up. We want a hot wok.
Okay, that's pretty good. Move my bowl over here. Okay, I'll move you guys a little bit closer. There we are. My walk's heating up. And place a little bit of oil in the bottom there. little cooking oil let that heat up a minute so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this uh, adobo it's taken me quite a few years to perfect this and I mean quite a few <laughs> I've been cooking adobo for whew, over 20 years so through trial and error, we've kind of figured this out, but I see a lot of adobo recipes uh, on YouTube, and it almost seems like, you know, some people are trying to throw you off. I, I don't really know, <laughs> but uh, this is the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, guys, that's heating up pretty good there. An extra little bowl here. Drain off a little of that excess oil because I really don't want to splatter mess and you gotta be realistic that's the way it is when you're cooking. Okay, so we want a little bit of oil in there, not a lot. Let's go ahead and add that pork meat in there. Again, it's a little over two pounds. And kind of spread that out evenly as you can see the uh, chunks of pork meat are evenly cut. I'm going to put my wok lid here. Oh. Okay, guys, now uh, we're going to let that brown up a little bit. Just kind of let it marinate in its own juices there. Like I said, it's been soaking for about 24 hours, so you can believe there is a lot of soy sauce, a lot of juices and stuff in there. So I'm going to kind of let it... Uh, marinating its own juice here for a little bit and I'll check back with you okay all right I'll see you in a bit okay guys we've been browning a few minutes here I'm just gonna lift it up and show you what we've got going on here what you're gonna see is the meat is gonna release the fat you know you want it cooking long enough for the meat to release the fat what we're gonna do with that is drain that back into our colander that is your gold that's your flavor right there all that marination that uh, you saved overnight that's been setting in the meat you're going to uh, render it out along with the fat and you want to save that because like I said that's your gold that's your flavor you don't want to get rid of that you don't want to you don't want to uh, muddy the water so to speak you don't want to dilute that I mean with water at this point in time so let's just go ahead and have a little steam evaporation let's go ahead and take a look at it now I'm going to move you in just a little bit closer here you can see the sabal that came off that meat just from the marination this is only from the marination okay 
I'm going to go ahead and pour this off into our colander and we'll go from there okay you want to you want to let that release so cook a couple minutes till it releases the juices and uh, you're going to go a little bit even further because you want to render the fat out of the meat that's your flavor just like a steak you know you ever see somebody cook a steak on the, the cooking shows they want to release that fat that's where your flavors at okay I'll set you back up here for just a second while right, I move that over the colander. about getting all that. Just get about as much of it as you can. Might lose a couple pieces, but I can fish them out here in a minute. That's okay. It's par for the course. That's cooking 101 in the kitchen. A little towel to wipe. Okay. Everything goes right back in there. You want all the nooks and crannies, all the onions, garlic, all that good stuff. Set this over here out of the way. Fish my piece of meat out that fell in there. <laughs> I think I only lost one. Ah, good job. Okay, again, we're looking to uh, cook this a little bit longer. We want to release the fat from the meat. So I'm going to replace my lid here. This is all part of the tenderizing process. Man, it smells delicious already, everybody. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you give it a try, and please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you try this recipe out, how it tastes for you, you know. Give me some uh, ideas of what you'd like for me to cook in the near future, if there's anything that you like. We cook everything, any Filipino, American food, I'm willing to give it a try. Um, so please, uh, just let me know, okay. I'll get back with you here in a second. We're going to cook this a little few more minutes until it releases the the fat from it and then we're going to drain that off into our colander too okay guys I'm back it's been a couple minutes here let's check it out we're going to uh, see what we got going on here Woo, smells wonderful I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit here you can hear me I'm going to bring you in a little further okay take a look at that that's the fat that's rendered off the meat there. Okay, you don't want that evaporator boil off. So after about three minutes or so, let's go ahead and strain that off into our colander again. I'm going to set you up there, and I've got a cup of warm water we're going to put in it after that. So let's go ahead and tilt it down here. Get some of that fat and juicy down the other end. I've got a heat resistant colander so it's not going to hurt it. But generally I use a metal colander. So I just grabbed the first thing I had. Okay guys, there's your extra gold. A lot of that's your flavor from the fat and a little bit of juice. Oop, one escaped on me. A little bit of juice that's left over. Okay. My power's clean. <laughs> Okay, guys. Now, there's still a lot of, uh, you know, there's, it's a wok. This is a coated wok. There's still oil and fats and everything in there. So you don't need to add any more oil or anything to it. You don't want to, you don't want to get rid of the flavor by adding too much oil. You just need enough to coat your pan. Now remember, if you're using a wok, a regular wok, you want to have a hot pan and cold oil to prevent from sticking. So here's the key, guys. You hear everybody say you want to uh, brown it up. So how do you do that? Brown sugar. Caramelize. How do you get caramelization? Well, there you are.
just like your your flan and stuff, right? Sugars caramelized. We're gonna brown that up and let it caramelize, guys. Then I'll go on to the next step with you here. I got my uh, boss here, my chef here. Shout out to Maria Massey. Hello, everybody. Check out her channel. She went live today and did a little cookery. You might enjoy that today if you get a chance. Now, if you've already visited, just shout out and leave a comment for us. Again, let us know what you would like uh, like to see us cook, what type of food you like, or what you'd like to see, because we cook everything. I mean, just about everything. And if it's pork, we cook it from the rooter to the tutor. We cook everything. Okay, guys, now, back to the matter here. The pork is still, you know, you can see that. It's still very tough. This is uh, a tougher cut of pork, and that's generally what was used back in the days, because just about anything you can get a hold of off the pork is usually the tougher cuts of meat that's used for stews and stuff like that and adobo so it takes takes some time to tenderize it you can't just throw it in a pan and cook it and expect it to be tender and delicious and a lot of times you'll see your adobo when people cut it open it's white inside this is still pretty tough so if you're eating adobo this is marinated 24 hours so even Mine's marinated long enough. It's not even white inside. Okay, so that's right. So we're looking to just brown and caramelize this. Okay, I've got it on like a medium heat. I've got my lid maw. Thank you. She's always good chef. My backup. She's sous chefing for me. I'm sous chefing for her. Always helping one another out, and that is the key to a long relationship and health in the kitchen health and help ha happy life happy wife happy life and a healthy kitchen and you eat good a lot of healthy food come out of this kitchen but guess what look at that he look like a pro yeah he is a pro 20 some years of this right so yeah honey professional Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to show mug and mug. It's been a long day. <laughs> I know. Long day of cookery and a little bit of everything. I'll turn my heat up a little bit more. You know that. Don't want to burn it, but. Yeah. See, you have to really caramelize. Caramelize it. So let it let it settle down the meat so it will caramelize. You hear her bossing me around. How can I be caramelized? If, they, I, don't, I if a, they won't even touch that. I have a nervous tendency. <laughs> Let's see where the meat's at. I have a nervous tendency to continually uh, be on the food. Oh yeah, man, that looks good. Okay. Get my sous chef in here. I got a few okay. spills here and there and everywhere. I know a lot of people. I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not criticizing anybody, but at least if you are guys gonna make an adobo for Philip that you said is a Filipino recipe, make it right, please. If if you put water on it, okay, it become gravy your uh, adobo. The regular adobo in Philippines, they, they, they are not, they are not gravy thing, okay? Can I, can I interrupt for just a second? Uh, you told me not to stir and agitate it around, let it go. What are no, you I'm doing? No, I'm showing it, I'm showing it to you, to the See, viewers. See, guys. I'm she's... showing it to the viewers. Okay, put it down. Okay. Release the spatula. She's got the same nervous habit that I do. <laughs> but... We, we cook the same, guys. It's hilarious. Okay, but what she's trying to explain to you is... If you add that water in there, and most people are just throwing cold water in there, you don't want to do that. You want to add warm or hot water into there. Yeah, uh, so they won't get top your your meat if you put cold. Just it, a moment, Seth. Jeff, you want to do it after 
you put your meat in there and you release the uh, marinade and the, the fats from the meat. You want to heat your meat up first and release the fats from it. Otherwise, you're going to put cold water in on top of it. And you're going to see this white, frothy, foamy mess. Mm -hmm. And even with some of the the top cooks on there, you, you'll you see them. They'll, they'll add stuff and they'll call it adobo, but then they'll throw coconut oil. Uh, coconut milk in it and that's that's a that's not adobo that's a big called adobo but they call that a, a white adobo but what they're doing really is covering up their mess their mess their mistake there because you're going to have this white coating on the outside of your meat and it's look like gravy that is look like a uh what they call this when the when the milk is spoiled they have this clumpy thing yeah like a gravy so yes Okay. Geez, I feel like I, I, my sous chef's taking over my. So anyway, <laughs> so this is like this, right? You can put your hot water now, okay, okay. to make this tender. So you have to have uh, warm water. That's a cup and a half, or maybe a little bit too much. So okay, it's fine. Just enough to cover your meat, guys. Yes. So you can you can tender your. Good. Excuse, excuse you, bless you. So you can tender your meat. Now let's go ahead and put the and, lid on it. And don't, don't stir it, okay? Don't stir it or stir it, stir it. Okay, so it's like We don't that. want to steer you in the wrong direction by stirring it. So anyway, so it's like um, that. Yes, that's fine. Okay, let me get rid of this out of the way for a second here. Not getting rid of it, that is our goal. So, okay. that is like that, you are in the medium heat. When mm -hmm. you are in the medium heat, make sure that you do your timer okay so mm -hmm. the timer i'm gonna put that one for 45 minutes cooking adobo is really okay it's really long Here's chef let me show you how to work that timer hold it down 45. <laughs> oh. thought i knew okay so all right guys so it's uh anything else you'd like to say so we're still rolling yeah okay <laughs> were we rolling earlier yeah okay so now we've got our hot water in there or warm water and again just enough to cover the meat approximately i don't know about a cup or so yeah 45 minutes to wait until you know in medium heat like that so let it let it be and then we'll be right back with you guys Let's tender it up tender them up that baby okay guys i just removed the lid off of it our sabao is reduced down really caramelized a couple pieces there's pretty caramelized should be delicious okay now what we're going to do right now is just uh, return our sabao, you know, that has all the fats and all that back in there. Okay, so just want to make sure everything is uh, covered well. We'll recover that. I'm not going to stir your meat. Um, so she's right about that. But anyways, um, can't think straight. We're going to let that go on low for a little while and just kind of uh, medium low. We're going to let that go for a little while and just kind of simmer. Is there anything else you want to tell everybody, honey? Yeah, they need, uh, yeah. You, you're doing good. You're, you're like... No, you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, giving me the know, coaching on You know what? Uh, he, he knows how to cook this one. Yeah, but I've been cooking. I'm, I'm so particular years. in everything, and then when I see him, I thought he don't know, but he he know. But you know, it, as another cook, that's why we cannot be cook. The, the cook cannot be the same in the kitchen, because you know we have all have a different way of cooking. Okay, so where we're at right now? Why don't you recap on us, ho uh, host? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I love you. we have just boiled down the meat and it's very tender mm -hmm. now we have added our marinade back in along with the uh, 
the fats and everything. So let's set our timer here. Uh, about a half an hour. Yeah, just just. For, Doesn't need to go very long. Just enough. Just simmer. Yeah, we want to simmer that down. I'm going to reduce the liquids down. We want to really cook that uh, marinade, okay? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have an uncooked. And we're going to hear all kinds of stuff. Oh, God, you don't put your marinade and meat sauce back in there. Where are you from? <laughs> Where I'm from in the middle of the Philippines, let me tell you about it. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, you put your sabao back in there. And, and like she said, you want to make sure you cook it. We're just kidding, guys. We have a lot of fun with it. But you want to make sure you cook your sabao and uh, kind of render it down a little bit. You're going to look to thicken it up and uh, infuse that meat with those delicious flavors. I don't know why you'd water it down or want to throw it out, that's for certain. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this one, you're not gonna have a gravy unless you make it as a gravy because you're gonna put something on it to be thickened. But the rig, uh, the, rig, the real Regu adobo in mm -hmm. Philippines is, yeah. is not thickened. Yeah. Okay. You you can thicken if you want it like if that. It. I mean, some people like it like that. Me, no, no. I don't want to uh, lighten the sauce up. I don't want to add any thickeners or anything to it because it's going to reduce itself down over the next half an hour. It's going to be delicious, and you're going to have enough sabao to pour over all your rice and feed yes. your feed your family. If you thicken that up, you may not have enough sabao for everybody. It's going to lighten up your sauce. It's going to taste different, yeah. believe it or not. So... We're going the old school traditional method with uh, a little bit of uh, Americano zing to it. Yes. We've had to add yes. a little bit here since we're in the States, uh, a little bit of a twist to it. You know, you just, no matter where you're at, you just deal with the products uh, that you're given and do the best you can. Uh, like my wife says on her channel, Cooking in the kitchen, you just do the best. Yeah, How do you, you say just it? Do lutong bahay. Lutong bahay lamang. Lama. When you are lutong bahay lamang, at to be honest with you, lutong bahay lamang is is the best food actually. Then you go, I'm not. Then to go to the restaurant, yeah. it's not the decoration, mm -hmm. because when you go to the preacher sister. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Yes. It's not like when you go to the restaurant, your plate is so nice and things yes, like that. Yes. But are you happy getting out on that restaurant? <laughs> because I'm not. You know, most of, your, most of your delicious recipes come from your home cooks. Yes. And sometimes the most delicious food I've ever eaten have, have come from those restaurants out back or some mother's cooking or... Mm -hmm. You know, it's the the small kitchens or eateries sometimes that produce the best food because a, a lot of times it's homemade. It's used with fresh ingredients, uh, but, you know, it's harder and harder to find. But, so that's why we want to bring a little bit of this yes. flavor back to you. Some of what our mothers taught us, and we we just bring together naturally. I'm telling you guys, I'm so proud of me and my husband. Because and we're not bragging, guys. We're not bragging. We, we've just, worked so hard, just yeah. over 20-some years of cooking together. But when I see people cooking, just only cooking, like, in the naming it that food, I mean, it make me, I said, oh, my God. It's it's hard. It's hard watching some people work. <laughs> You yeah. know, we just we just enjoy cooking, and and what we love is feeding people, and hearing uh, hearing that people enjoy and love love the food. Uh, you know, when you set down when you set down food, supposed to nourish you, nourish your body, your mind, your spirit. So, we're going to uh, cut it there. I'm going to let this uh, go for another 26 minutes or so. Got left, so. Um, We'll check back with you in a minute, okay? Okay, guys. There we are. That's it. That's our delicious pork adobo. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening.